One of the initiatives that's been introduced uh, through the strategic plan of the Integration Joint Board has been the formation of our community support hubs. These operate throughout all of the major centres within the borders and they provide access to a range of different services for people. Now, in some cases, uh, people are able to make appointments directly with these services or they're able to pop into one of these hub events and get access to advice and guidance which they'll find beneficial to their health and well-being. It is about looking at what, what matters to the person. How would they want their life to look like and how can we help them achieve it? Not about us plugging gaps with services. What do they want to do? We can direct them to different groups. Um, we can provide key support, home care, equipment. We can direct them to physio. But it's sometimes that they just need the information about what to do and where to go. And once armed with that information, they can then take forward what they want to do themselves. So we don't do everything for the person, we empower them to take control um, and, and move their lives forward. Yes, they might need a wee bit of help from social work, but the early intervention stops that becoming a crisis. And when you switch that conversation round to be a positive conversation, then you get the engagement of the person and that makes a huge difference. The Red Cross initially um, were involved right from the start, right from the steering group stage. It's a very informal way of working. It's a great way of working because everybody's working together and sharing information. It is about helping people in the early stages. It's about them coming in and knowing that they can get advice. Um, they maybe don't need a full-blown assessment, a formal interview with anybody. They maybe just need advice on what services are out there, what groups are out there, you know, how they go about accessing um, people, places, whatever their needs are. It's very much person-centred. We've been getting a huge variety of things really, you know, some people are coming to speak about um, relatives maybe that they've got there and their mothers, their grandparents, you know, anything like that, that they want a bit of advice and support for them. Uh, I think it's like a cafe environment, like they're coming in, sit and have a coffee with them, just or a cup of tea, um, and it's just quite an informal chat. But I think people open up quite a lot more in that kind of environment, and it's not as stressful for them. Um, and like I say, it's just an informal chat, which we're able to then act upon and um, come with a, an action plan from that chat of what we're going to do and how we're going to help. We've had a lot of groups coming along, which is really nice, and they just set up for the day, and, and then we can direct clients over to them as well, if feel the benefit of having a chat. It's what matters to them and as long as we keep that in the back of our minds when we're doing this job, I don't think we can go far wrong with it.